hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe audition tutorial and in this quick tutorial we are gonna learn how you can make adjustments manually to pitch correction in the last tutorial we learned how to make adjustment automatically if you do not know how to correct it manually but i'm gonna show you that you can do it manually and doing it manually gives you very great control and a lot of precision over the pitch correction if you are a professional and you know and you know how to correct your pitch manually then this is the option to go towards okay so let's go and if apply our pitch correction effect go to time and pitch and then into pitch uh, this option uh, click on this option which says pitch shifter okay this window pops up when you click on pitch shifter in case any other effect it has some uh, presets we are not gonna try i talk about them just apply them and see which one you like okay and now the most important part of this window is this place which says pitch transpose there are semitones sends and ratios let's talk about ratios first of all okay i've adjusted these tones or sliders a little bit uh, in my past uh, working uh, of the project I was working in here in Adobe Audition this is the ratio between the original audio and the adjustment that you are making to its tone now its adjustment is about 1.1 okay if I just push it like a little bit more it is 1.5 now okay now I'm gonna put it at zero and put this letter at zero also now it's almost one one okay let me put this a little bit big big and now it's okay now it's zero okay what does semitones and cents mean well semitone one semitone equals to half a note if you don't know about notes then you are totally lost okay let me change this to this okay these are our notes as you can see a1 c2 c3 a2 these are the notes that you find on musical instruments like playing with piano and stuff like that so uh, one uh, tones one semitone it means half a note and two semitones means one note and the uh, uh, the bottom here this uh, you know uh, uh, slider it uh, is uh, reading from negative 100 and uh, to negative uh, positive 100 you know you can adjust it uh, on your own choice so what does the understand means it means that you can adjust one semitone about 100 in in 100 increments you can make it 40 uh, percent of one uh, you know uh, adjustment uh, cent of one semitone you can make it 60 70 and stuff like that so as you can see that uh, if we put it at two, that means one note. We can precisely uh, refine and adjust only one note uh, of a pitch about 400 degrees. 400 degrees in a sense that each semitone has 200 cents in it, and uh, uh, the, these are two notes in here. Then that means it. Uh, that may equals it to 400 notes. So I hope you get that point. Uh, once you have adjusted your um, or learned the pitch transpose, then there are the two more boxes. One is precision, and the other one is pitch setting. If you put uh, your video at the low precision, that's uh, um, the voice is not going to be that great. Uh, the difference between low precision and high precision is that your machine or your software it will be working really hard if you put it on high precision it's gonna um, take uh, more uh, usage out of your cpu and your drains and memories and stuff like that uh, but the quality is gonna be really great but low precision little bit of machine work little bit of effort on the part of audition but the quality is gonna suffer a lot so let's uh, see what low precision sound like then we're gonna try high precision Hi guys and welcome to your turn at the video. Okay, that's terrible actually. I have to adjust this a little bit too. But it is still terrible. Now let's go to high precision. Much better than the low precision one. 
Uh, okay, now come to the speech setting. Let me uncheck this. Uh, splicing frequency means that how much uh, packets or partition of samples that you want. Do you want higher hertz uh, sample rates or small ones? Overlapping means that when those partition or samples are joined together, how much they should overlap each other. At the moment it's 28. Actually 28 is a bad value. It should be about 10 or something because if you overlap two parts that you are joining together and they join or overlap each other more than 10% then there is a chance that you will produce a chorus sound that chorus is the sound that when many singers are singing and you cannot distinguish one singer on one vocal from the other and they are singing together so that's the effect it might come if you are overlapping value is too much okay, you can adjust these values yourself but if you use this check mark then what's gonna happen is gonna adjust these values appropriately according to your audio waveform that you have provided for the audition let me test it on my video of 10% overlapping few of the terms that are associated with uh, sound and to learn them you better than understand okay most of the time you can get away with setting a precision to high precision and checking this use appropriate default uh, settings and then you can make a little bit of adjustment in here but if you want to go and change or make a really weird type of pitch then you have to move these sliders a little bit more and then do not use the appropriate default setting okay guys that's it uh, i'm not here to teach you or tell you what is the perfect video for your pitch that is something you have to learn and play with and perfect yourself to find out i just wanted to tell you that how to use this pitch shifter in this tutorial until next tutorial take my leave for now and i hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and until next time goodbye